Good morning at 841. Welcome back to Acadiana's Morning News and a special guest on the phone with us. Uh, you know him. You, you've seen his name at the bottom of your screens if you watch Fox News. Political analyst Juan Williams. Good morning, sir. Rob, thanks for having me. And it's a great, it's Friday morning, a great morning. Gosh, we've made it this whole way. You know, yeah, Bernie's yeah. Bernie's my little uh, side, uh, side. I was going to say. I'm your sidekick, but I I was going to say sidekick, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Co -host this morning. It sounds like your sidekick just kicked you. Yes, <laughs> yes, right, right under this table. Look, we are so excited. Um, really, we the people, it's just this fascinating work of history told through in-depth profiles. And we've been talking actually a lot um, I mean, I'm sure you've just been listening to KPEL wherever you are. Yeah, you've been right, listening all morning. But we've been talking <laughs> about, you know, specific documentaries and stu such and whether or not they're infotainment and that's kind of the direction we're going or if a bias comes through. Well, I find that this, you know, we the people, mm -hmm. it is just such it's so interesting because it's individual perspectives and it really gives you the whole story kind of piece by piece. What was your inspiration to start work on this? Well, you know, I mean, I I do politics for Fox, and I'm so taken by the idea that we've got some dynamics driving the 2016 election, uh, and we know it. I mean, you look at Donald Trump coming on the scene, you know, talking about immigrants and immigration, especially illegal immigration, or you hear Bernie Sanders on the far left talking about income inequality. So where what are the roots of those issues? Where do they come from? And that's what leads to the profiles, Rob. So in other words, if you're talking about income inequality, you've got to talk about Milton Friedman, the conservative economist. Or if you're talking about immigration, you've got to talk about President Kennedy, his brother Ted Kennedy, who changed the rules on immigration in this country so that people from all over the globe can come to America. And you have higher numbers of them coming to America. Now we have you know, a historic number of immigrants in the country. So those are the kinds of things. But you know, to me, even, if, even anywhere in the world, as you point out, you can listen to KPEL. I would think that if the Founding Fathers came back to life, Rob, you would have them on the show. You'd say, these guys are rock stars. we got to have them on. Oh, yeah, yeah, give them a break. You know, and then I, everybody I, would call in and say, hey, Founding Fathers, what do you think of America today? And what, you know, what do you think of what came of the nation you created 240 years ago? So and, that's what this book is about. What would they think of it, and how, how has America changed so that we come into the 2016 election with such power and tension and the drama that we see playing out every day. And I think that one thing that a lot of people, I mean, we have this written, you know, in black and white, the Constitution, and, the, and this is what they agreed upon. Do you think it will ever get to a point where the wording and how it's used, because, I mean, we're all, we're already into interpretation right now. I mean, what exactly did it mean? There are some people who have different thoughts about the Second Amendment and different other things. But I just don't know if, if it's just because people don't understand what they meant. Do you think we'll ever, like, need a translation, like a, <laughs> like a, like a Bible where it gets updated every, you know, however many years where this is what they really meant? Because when you have social media and you have so many different aspects of culture that we have, I feel like the, mud, the water gets kind of muddy. Well, for sure. And remember, part of the genius of the Constitution is they built in an amendment process so that you can make changes as situations change as you go through civil war world war great depression that that constitution has endured that's part of the, what's the miracle of the constitution why it's a light to the world it has endured and protected individual rights democratic rights unbelievable so i think that as we go forward one of the people in the book is one of my new founding fathers is ronald reagan why because reagan was the guy that said you know what we need judges in this country who are not putting new rights into the Constitution, who aren't inventing new rights, who don't think of it as a living Constitution, we need judges who will adhere to an originalist vision of the Constitution. What did those founding fathers really mean? Strict adherence to what they wrote. And that's why you get justices like Justice Scalia, Justice Thomas, people who say, stop with the new interpretation of the living document. Let's get back to what they intended at the time that they wrote it. All right. Well, uh, Juan Williams. Only because of time. We yeah, have to give we have up. to wrap it up. Fox mm. News uh, contributor, former White House correspondent. You can get all the information on his book. It can be found at Amazon. It is called We the People, Modern Day Reshaped. Uh, it's, it's really going to be really cool. Uh, yeah. Juan Williams, thanks for getting up early with us and joining us. We appreciate Rob, it. My pleasure. Thank you.